Hey guys, and welcome back to another Redstone video, and in this video I'll be going over the 1.17 version of the TNT laser cannon, and in the later in the video I'll do a tutorial, and some different things you can change with it to change range, power, etc. So, first I'll start with the demonstration of what it does. Um, this is the shortest range setting. It basically just shoots TNT in a straight line and explodes things, and that's what a lot of TNT cannons do, but this one's special because it always hits almost the same spot um, in a straight line, and if there's blocks in its way, it'll explode on contact. So, it's really useful for precise targeting and stuff like that. And then, of course, it does have different ranges as well. So, this one will go much farther than that first shot. And, of course, this is in 1.17, as you can see. And this is the same design that I had back in the day in 2018, early 2018, when I released a tutorial for this originally. There's nothing changed. As far as I know, anyway, there's water in the back, ladders, etc. Um, same, same cannon. All the dispensers of TNT. It should still work. All right, and now for the tutorial. So what you're gonna need is 20 solid blocks. It doesn't have to be smooth stone. Three ladders, one repeater, one water bucket, 19 redstone dust, um, 32 dispensers, and one stone button. All right, so to start, I'll place the um, solid blocks on the ground in this formation, seven blocks long and then one at the end, on two sides, and then we'll place these blocks, and then, I'm gonna placeholder, um, I'll place one there. So do exactly like that, and then next we'll place the dispensers along all these blocks, and they have to be facing inward. If they're not facing inward, then um, it'll blow itself up. So make sure they're all facing in, and then, as soon as I'm done with this, we'll start with the redstone. I said this takes a little while to finish. And by the way, if you need to pause the video anytime during this tutorial, make sure to do so, because with TNT cannons, um, making mistakes is a pretty bad idea. <laughs> because if it blows up, it could blow, it's not only blowing up the only ingredients you have here, but it could be blowing up like the surroundings too. All right, and now we place the ladders and water. So water in the far back, and then three ladders underneath these three dispensers. It doesn't matter what side they're on, they just have to be here. All right, and now, on the far back of the cannon, place a button right there, and then place redstone dust on top of the dispensers. Don't place redstone dust on these solid blocks, only on the dispensers. Um, that's crucial, <laughs> otherwise it could blow it up. All right, and then place one repeater, either here, here, or here, um, facing forward. And then you can set the tick to whatever you want. I'd recommend setting all the way back. And then, whenever you're ready, just hit the button, and it should fire. So, I'll hit the button. I'm gonna get off the can so I don't get knocked away. And there we go. It, it works. So, that's how to build the cannon. So, let's get into, like, the upgrades and stuff for the cannon. Alright, so now I'll be talking about how to modify the range of the cannon. Now, at the start of the video, I talked about how you can use this um, one repeater that is already on the cannon to modify the range. So, the less ticks that are on the repeater, so if it's all the way forward, um, the shorter it'll go. So you can see here it goes really short. If I push it back one, it'll go a little bit farther, but not much farther. Uh, if I put it back another, then it'll go even farther, etc. The farther you go back, the farther the range is. But you can add even more range by just adding, simply put, more repeaters. So if I add some extra blocks on the side, um, I can add extra delay. So if I have two repeaters, it'll go super far now. Hit the button. And there we go. Yeah, so you just get extra range for the more repeaters you have on the cannon. And it, it only goes farther for a certain amount of repeaters. I think there's a limit because we, we have to have extra um, firepower back here. The TNT can only launch the other TNT so far before it explodes. But if you want to increase the range of the cannon, then you can do this. One thing to note, I think it gets less accurate the farther out it goes. So the most accurate thing is is this, where it just hits directly in front of it every time. Um, yeah. All right, and now we'll talk about how to increase the power of the cannon. So if you want to increase the power, this is a little bit more complicated. So um, place blocks here, three blocks. Place two repeaters, and re remove the original repeater. Um, set the ticks to full. Put redstone dust at the back. Um, place a block right there. Sticky piston and then place an observer facing up, and then a block here, and then observer facing down. Destroy that block, 
and then place um, d destroy this redstone and then place two dust there and there now that's it so now when you hit the button oh it fires and as you can see that did a lot of more damage it, man, it, it helped increase the crater even though it was already pretty damaged so what that does is it will use up a lot more TNT. That's just it's just firing four or five times more TNT than it normally would. But that's how you can easily not really easily, but it's really more expensive. But you can add a lot more power with just this little bit of redstone on the side. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and yeah, see you in the next episode. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I should be able to answer.